Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the Yizan X6 Tarantula, or it looks like actually JJRC has rebranded this, um, but I think they're also calling it like the H16 or something like that. Um, so a few different names, but whatever, this is originally the Yizan X6 Tarantula, and this is a really cool quad. Um, first of all, you'll notice it's just, you know, really big and just, I don't know, cool and aggressive looking. Looks like some sort of, you know, tarantula, I guess. <laughs> Looks like a bug or monster or something. Um, and it actually has a 5 megapixel 1080p HD camera and this little anti-vibration mount. Um, however, I found that the, I don't think the mount really does much to get, stop the vibration just because the camera is too light for it to really, I don't know, for that to work. I think, you know, the vibrations are just sent straight through all the way to the camera um, because, you know, it, it's too light to like hold its position and allow that anti-vibration to really work. Um, because there is still quite a bit of jello wobble in the footage, even with the anti-vibration mount. Um, the lens is adjustable. You can kind of angle it down just a little bit. It doesn't really give a lot. and It doesn't really like to stay at that downward position. So, I don't know. It, it's adjustable, but doesn't really hold its position very well. Um, so a little bit disappointed on the camera. I specifically waited for the 5 megapixel version to come out just because I wanted to test the camera as well. Um, and I think these bigger, the 5 megapixel cameras, I think are just more prone to jello wobble just from being, you know, the higher quality or, the, you know, higher resolution uh, video. I don't know, just the way they work maybe or just more susceptible to jello wobble. Um, so a little bit disappointed on the camera, but fortunately the quad itself is awesome. This thing, th I would call this a sport quad. It almost flies like the Latrax Alias, but you know, at this big size, which is just crazy to be spinning around and you know, flying really sporty with a big quad like this. Uh, it's got three rates and uh, the yaw rate changes and it's a fast yaw rate. So I mean, you can do funnels and fast bank turns this thing has power and it is just a lot of fun to actually fly this so the camera is just sort of a, a nice bonus but i would not consider that the point of this this is a sport quad as far as i'm concerned um, so let's look at the transmitter a little bit more it's hobby grade style but a little bit on the small side which i kind of like it fits in the hands nice and compact it's not too bulky um, the one thing, I, th I think I said these same things about the, the Yizan X4, the little micro. Um, they've got the buttons here on the front instead of on the shoulders. So for me as a pincher, those are kind of awkward to try to get to. So I would rather see them up here on the top than on the front like that. Um, but the you change rates by pressing this left button. And like I said, it's got three rates and a fast changing yaw rate. You flip by pressing the right button and then moving the stick in whatever direction you want. It flips really nice, again, because it's so powerful. Um, and it does have a 2S LiPo battery, so plenty of power to recover from the flips. Um, and this uses the WL Toys V2X2 protocol. Uh, so you could fly this with a V222 transmitter or whatever if you wanted. Um, so yeah, again, look at the battery. Like I said, it's a 2S LiPo, and it is 1200 milliamp hours and a 30C, so a nice powerful battery for this. And it comes with a wall charger there. Uh, it takes about two and a half hours to charge, uh, but you get like 12 minute flights in this form, prop guards and camera and everything, 12 minute flights, so that's pretty impressive. And I'd imagine if you took that camera and the vibration mount off, uh, you'd get, you know, maybe 13, 14 minutes even. And there's a 30 second LVC warning, so you got a nice visual warning. Um, it does come with a spare set of props, so that's pretty cool. Nice big props, it was pretty impressive to see a full set of those included. Um, and it comes with some hardware. There is some assembly required. You've got to put the the camera mount on, the legs, and the props, and the prop guards, and everything. 
Uh, so there was like three bags of screws and not really any instructions to tell you how to put it together. But, you know, if you sit down and, and look at it for a minute and pay attention, it's pretty straightforward, really. Um, and it comes with a USB card reader and there is a micro SD card included. And that is eight gigabyte memory card. So nice big memory card as well. And that'll be needed for the 1080p video. And then uh, one thing I was kind of impressed with actually is that it comes with a really nice screwdriver. I and mean, it's got the, you know, where the, uh, the end stays in place so you can kind of easily hold it in place and then turn it. And it was just really usable. Usually these included screwdrivers like strip immediately. Uh, but this one actually worked well. I actually used this for the entire assembly and it's still it's still functioning it's not stripped and I'll probably actually go ahead and throw this in my toolbox especially since it's green <laughs> but that was actually pretty cool to see a usable screwdriver included instead of one of those silly little screwdrivers um, but yeah it does have LED on the motor pods here red in the back and blue in the front so that's nice however I think maybe the blue version is opposite because here in the picture it's got red in the front but mine is blue in the front, so, but I've got the black version. So that may be either the blue version or maybe JJRC changed that when they rebranded it and that's actually a picture of the Yizon version. Not really sure what's going on there, but the uh, plastic pods are colored, but the actual LED itself is as well colored. So I actually turned mine on and checked the LED before I put the the pods on just to make sure I was right. And it is definitely blue LEDs in the front and red in the back. So you may want to check that on yours, plug a battery in before you screw these on and make sure you've got the colored plastic matching the, the color of the LED. Um, but the prop guards are kind of part of the, the whole design here. They're kind of necessary. So, I mean, you, you've got this whole piece goes over the lens cover and you've got to screw it in here. But the... The screw doesn't work where I could just screw this lens cover on. I thought I could do that, but I, and I removed it. But then when I tried to screw straight into the lens cover, the hole in the lens cover is too big, so the screw just went right through it. Uh, but, you know, you could do some modding, tape it on there, glue it on there if you really wanted to get rid of these prop guards. But I don't, I mean, they're just super flimsy little plastic. I don't think they really are going to affect flight time very much, and they'll you know, protect you from getting your hand chopped or anything. Um, but, you know, like I said, they're just really flimsy plastics. I mean, you'll see mine are just all warped out of shape and bent, I think, just from being in the heat and shipping and stuff. So they're, they're kind of worthless. Um, but again, I don't think it really affects the flight enough to, to bother with them. And it looks kind of cool, you know, in its full presentation there. Uh, let's see, I know it is just brushed motors, so with you know something this big, I would suggest breaking your motors in the first run. Just uh, set it on your table and run the throttle as low as you possibly can for an entire battery. Maybe stopping every few minutes to let the motors cool down. Um, but I would suggest breaking the motors in before you know going out and going crazy with it. Uh, let's see, is there anything else to say? You can recalibrate it by holding both sticks down to the right. Um, the video file split at five minutes for some reason. I guess just to make sure if you fly, you know, have a really long flight, you don't end up losing your whole video. Um, so yeah, there is a split at five minutes. And yeah, I guess that's about all I've got to say about it. So we'll go ahead and take it outside. We'll do some nice sporty flying with it. And then we'll do some onboard video footage so you can see what that looks like. So yeah, let's go check it out. Alright, this is the flight review of the Yizon X6 Tarantula. This thing is cool. It's got the 5 megapixel camera, but it's also very sporty. So we'll just have some fun with it. I've got it on full 100% raise, and you see it's got it's got a lot of pitch to it. And this thing it can go crazy. Look at that. The yaw rate's not super fast compared to how much of a pitch it has. But 
you can fly this thing very sporty like. Do some flips. Big loopy flips, but it recovers quite well. It's got plenty of power. This thing is fun to fly. now. A little less pitch. Still quite a bit of pitch to it. Alright, let's go ahead and turn on the camera. Again, it is a 5 megapixel 1080p camera and I got that anti-vibration mount on it, though I did find that it still has some jello wobble to it. Got a little bit of a breeze coming in, so I don't want to go too high up there and get blown away or anything. Let's try to get it up to get some decent footage. This is a cool quad. It's an aerial video platform, but still very sporty as well. I'm gonna really throw this thing around, especially on high rates. Alright, let's go ahead and stop the video. Let's put it back on 100% rates. <laughs> Look at that pitch. I mean, this thing has a crazy amount of pitch on 100% rates. I wish the yaw was just a touch faster. And you can kind of get a pretty good funnel going there. Not bad. Still just wish it had a little bit more yaw though. kicked up big time. I was really surprised by how sporty this thing is for how big it is, but it is definitely sporty quad. <laughs> it's just got so much pitch on high rates, it's ridiculous. That was a good flight video. Bring her in for a landing. Beautiful. There we go. That's the Yizon or maybe JJRC now. I think they call it like the H16. Uh, but it's originally the Yizon Y6 Tarantula. Pretty cool. Got the 5 megapixel anti-vibration mounted camera. And just very sporty flight characteristics. I'm having fun with this one. Alright, well thanks for watching. Check the video description for price and purchase links, and I'll see you next time.